Good morning from my garden. I just had a roof put over my patio, so uh, the space is really, really nice. And I uh, have a good little table and chairs out here to enjoy it. And thought you guys would like it. It's uh, spring is breaking in some parts of the Northern Hemisphere. And I know uh, friends of mine have written and said flowers are starting to pop out. Uh, one of the nice things about living in Vietnam is that flowers are around all year long, uh, at least in this part of the country. And uh, it's nice and nice and warm. Today will be a scorcher for those of you that remember the definition from the other day. Uh, in fact, this whole week will be uh, very hot here. So we're gonna be uh, sweating our way through it. But I figured if I could do an early morning chat with you all, then uh, that would help <laughs> beat the heat because it's really nice and comfortable outside right now. And uh, you can probably hear the birds chirping and you might even hear this loudspeaker playing news and some patriotic music, uh, which is part of the soundscape of the mornings here. Um, the, luckily, my roosters have started uh, have have started only doing their thing pretty early. The, they're not my roosters; they're the next door neighbors' roosters, and uh, they they like to uh, to give me an early alarm clock. Uh, luckily, they've stopped doing the whole thing where they just keep going, kind of all throughout the day. They've calmed down. I think that was when they were first moved into the house, but. Uh, now they tend to just do a wake up call and should be mostly chilled out, but you may hear one do a little cockadoodle do in the background. Uh, so I, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about life as a teacher in Vietnam because there's some of you out there I know are thinking, God, man, I'd love to do an adventure. I would love to go teach in another culture, uh, another environment, another space than the, my own comfort zone. And uh, coming to Vietnam is really a phenomenal option, a great option to consider. Why? And let's list uh, uh, the kind of top reasons that I, I find it to be well worthwhile. Uh, number one, the number one biggest reason is that teacher is a respected part of the community uh, especially if you're a kind of well-behaved and <laughs> chill older man or older woman or not a party person uh, in, in my town you'll be well respected by the whole entire community as, as a teacher that means that you're greeted as teacher by people that don't know you or people that get to know you They'll say, good morning, teacher. Have a good day, teacher. Um, it's just part of life here, and it's really nice. It's something that I think is reminiscent of very old days in, in the United States that are long gone, obviously, now. But uh, the, uh, the second reason is that the, the actual job is just so fulfilling. The, the, the successes that you see as... Uh, your students learn to communicate in English, the confidence that that builds in them for everything else that they're doing uh, is, is so worth it. And uh, on top of that, their kids, a lot of them, uh, depends on who you're teaching. I teach all ages, but the majority of my students are kids. And when they do start being able to communicate with you, they will say the darndest things and and have you laughing and having you thinking about things and having you introduce new ideas and new subject material to the classroom from their interests and that's something that happens it's a long-term goal and for those of you coming thinking of coming for a year you'll just get to barely touch the experience of teaching long term uh, teaching long term here is one of the third things that's so great is that you're often teaching generations and uh, I've actually taught whole families how to speak English. I've taught uh, babies 
<laughs> from from little babies to to adults uh, how to speak and I've watched it change their lives the confidence that they've gained in all other aspects of their lives their career their choices of university their choices of uh, how or where to live are are open their ability to travel the world and see new things and I've had students that have traveled all over the world from learning with me and so those top three are really the the kicker um, in addition you're paid well if you're a native speaker you're gonna make an, a living that um, you'll find yourself saving money each month and that's something that is uh, rare in the West these days. So from that perspective, it, it's good. Uh, the other thing is that housing is generally nice and what, I mean, for it, depending on what your budget is and where you're living, um, housing can be quite reasonable and, and quite beautiful, like the garden that I have. Uh, I've been living in, in my house for many, many years, and I, I, I love it. Um, I'm really in a quiet part of, of town, and that I really enjoy. As you notice, there's not been a sound coming out of uh, my little alleyway as we've had this talk. So if you're thinking about coming to Vietnam, subscribe to my channel, send me a message uh, on this, um, of, and you know, I'll do anything I can obviously to help, uh, you guide, guide any teachers that are interested in coming, uh, here. We particularly need Westerners, uh, native English speakers. We lost a lot during the COVID period and many of them found jobs elsewhere. You know, people move on with their lives and so our need for those teachers here is great. I would also urge you to consider not only living in the main urban areas of, this, of the country uh, and going out to live in a smaller, more Vietnamese town. If it's got tourism related to that town, that can be enough of a benefit that you get to see some foreign faces occasionally uh, and, and have conversations. But I would really recommend for the full Vietnamese experience, trying to find jobs in some of the smaller cities or smaller towns uh, spread out around the country. Um, you'll really become part of the community in ways that you can't imagine. Um, but on a typical evening out, for me, I, I, I might run into half a dozen or more families that I know, students that I know, friends that I have. Um, people here are, are very social and it's not the same kind of social calendar in as America, like let's plan it out. A lot of times it's just, you see somebody out and you end up sitting at their table and, and joining them or vice versa. It's just a, a, a great lifestyle and the food is awesome <laughs> and uh, the people are wonderful and life is is very very good so come join us check it out learn more about it go online read about teaching in other countries and uh, if you're ever serious send me a message or start making the contacts to with with schools with areas that you think you might like. Now, that was a bit long, but I don't care. It's just a, I hope, I hope you, whoever's listening enjoys it and uh, I hope it inspires you to great adventures in your own life. Peace from Vietnam, peace from my garden. Have a great day.